What's up developers and welcome back to a new video where we will dive into route parameters in Symfony. Quick pause, do you want to support the channel and want me to continue on creating content? You can support the channel on Patreon right now where you get benefits such as a private discord group where you can share your coding issues and other developers will help you out. If you are interested, the link will be in the description down below. When developing websites in Symfony, you usually stumble on routes with parameters. At the moment, we got a basic route defined in our movies controller right here of forward slash movie, which actually needs to be changed to movies. The idea behind this route is that it will basically get all movies that are available in your database or movies that you have to find inside your controllers. But what if you want to show one particular movie? So let's say that you only want to show data of forward slash movies forward slash inception. If we got one movie defined, we could easily add a forward slash inception like we did right now. This works fine, but you do need to do this for every single movie that you got. And believe me, that will be quite a lot of work. Therefore, a route parameter comes into play. It's basically a route that has a parameter in the URL structure and that is a variable. So the value will change based on the name of the movie you have inside your URL. Now when you want to use route parameters, you obviously need to remove inception inside your route and you need to wrap your variable inside a set of curly braces. Now be aware that we're not going to pass in the name of one specific movie, but a variable that represents a specific movie. This could be an ID, it could be a slug, or maybe you prefer to show the name inside the URL. So let's remove slug and add name. And passing in the name or an ID is actually pretty common. So let's keep it at name for now. If we save it and navigate back to the browser, change our endpoint to forward slash movies forward slash inception, you'll see that we're getting the JSON response that we have defined inside our index method right here. Now there is a command in Symfony which shows you all routes that are available in your project. So inside the terminal, let's perform the Symfony console debug colon router command. If we hit enter and let me scroll up, you can see on the first line that we have a preview error, which is something we don't need to worry about. But the route down below is the movies endpoint, which has a name of movie, the method is any, scheme is any, host is any, but the path is forward slash movies, forward slash a variable called name. Now if we navigate back to Brave and change the endpoint to let's say Avengers, you'll see that the same message is being printed out. Now there is something that we haven't added, but I do need to mention it, but keep in mind that it's optional. And that's a method parameter inside the route. At the moment, you'll see that our method has been defined to any, which is actually not something that's right. What we can do is to go right after our name inside our route, add a comma, space, define a new parameter, which is called methods, colon, and then we're going to pass in an array, so a set of brackets. Now the methods that we want to perform right here is the in single quotes get method, comma, the hat method. Now the get method makes sense because we're going to get a value from the URL. If we save it and run the command one more time inside the terminal, you can see that we have changed our method from the movie's endpoint to get pipe hat, which is the correct format. It's pretty cool what we've done so far, but you usually want to do something with the parameter that is being passed in. Right now, we're just checking the right endpoint. If you want to use it inside your code, which you usually will do because based on the name, you can grab more information from the database, you need to pass in the parameter inside the index method, right inside of the parentheses. Keep the name equal to the parameter that you have in the route. So let's say dollar sign name. What we can do right now is to change our message value. So the key is message and the value is not a string anymore, but our name. Let's save it. Let's navigate back to the browser. Let's refresh it. And as you could see, Avengers has been printed out. Now let's test it out with inception. So let's say forward slash inception. And right here, inception has been printed out. You can also make your route parameter optional by including a default parameter inside your route. So let's navigate back to Visual Studio Code. Now let's go right after our name, add a comma, space, create a new parameter called defaults, colon, and we're going to set it equal to an array right here. 
inside the array, we're going to pass in a key value pair. Now the key will be name in our case, the value will be null. The default value of name is null, so there is no name. Otherwise, it will be a value you pass in as a parameter. If we save it and navigate back to Brave, refresh it, you see that Inception has been printed out. Now let's remove Inception and right here, you'll see that the endpoint is null. Now let me show you what will happen if we remove our defaults. Save it, navigate back to Brave, refresh it. We got an error because our forward slash movies does not exist. And if we add a parameter of Inception, as you can see, this still works fine. So it's actually pretty nice that you have the option to define a default route parameter. That being said, this was it for this video where we went over route parameters in Symfony and how you could add no parameters even though our route has one. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.